management anatomy is not easy you can also go to the hospital and you'll be in charge of bookkeeping which is crazy because nobody wants to risk somebody's embryo for an apprentice and so you don't go outside saying there's nowhere to work when you don't know how to do it do you get it? don't let people tell you okay hey it's only mortuary 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 it's not true People have been sliding to my DM to ask me, Mama, please, what can I do with my BSc anatomy degree? Please, do I get study anatomy? I do this, I do that. Please, can you help me out? So I've made this video for you. And this video was also the most requested from you guys because I posted a voting poll on my community and this video got the highest vote. That is why you're also seeing this video. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to have you on this channel today. So if you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys. But if you just tuned into this channel, please do well to hit the red subscribe button. It's here. Do well to hit that button. For this video, I've got out six things you can do with your Nigerian BSc degree in anatomy. And in this video, I'm not only going to be telling you these six things, I'm also going to be sharing realistic ways for you to attain this high do you get okay so the first thing please in no particular order the first thing is you can actually use your bsc anatomy degree to further your education what do i mean when i say further your education i'm coming from two perspectives the first one is you can actually do an msc degree that's your master's degree or two you can go for a second degree entirely like maybe go for another health related course like radiography medical rehabilitation pharmacy medicine so you can actually further your education with this part then coming to the msc platform you look for universities in nigeria where they have lecturers teaching anatomy but they are their research interest is in either neuroscience or reproductive anatomy or um or forensic do you get so if you see that you 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 had passion during your undergraduate for forensic anatomy what you just do is make your research know the university where they have uh, lecturers that their expertise is in forensic science so that when you do your msc in anatomy you will do a research work that is related to forensic science you get so if you look for another university where they have teachers or lecturers that are experts in neuroscience at the end of the day when you do your msc anatomy you can do your research work or your thesis in neuroscience you get so that's about the msc platform so i also advise you can also source for fundings opportunities outside nigeria do you get okay so the second point is you can actually work in a hospital i know you feel age hey, mama don't come with plenty talk oh please I'll only tell you facts. I don't come to mouthwash or say plenty things so that you like my video. No, 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 no. So you can work in the hospital. How can you? You should understand that there are people that study med lab that are certified for it. There are people that study radiography that are certified for it. There are people that study medicine that are certified for it. There are people that study nursing that are certified for it, you get. So you as an anatomy, where can you function in the hospital, do you get? So you can function as a laboratory assistant. I have a couple of course mates that um, during their NYSC, they worked in the laboratory, um, the histopathology lab, because you agree with me as an anatomist, your second, third, and fourth year, you did histology and you were conversant with the microscope. So good. So for you to work in the hospital, that means you need to know how to use your microscope very well and you need to be grounded in the anatomy topic. Go, go, go. Do you understand? Is there anything like grounded? I'll be grounded. Yay! Please don't mind me. What I mean is you really need to understand the anatomy, the practical and everything. So you don't go outside saying there's nowhere to work when you don't know how to do it. Do you get it? Why I also heard there are some people that go to the hospital and they just do bookkeeping. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like that too um you know i'm trying to give you realistic ways you can also go to the hospital and you'll be in charge of bookkeeping which is crazy why some persons can actually use their bsc anatomy to be working in the mortuary do you get so it's depending on you it's depending on what you want do you get it so i think hospital have i said so much about it i've said you can work in the histopathology lab you can work in the radiology unit but you're going to work as a laboratory assistant because your course is a foundational course so this is why you will not be able to um, go in depth or go to details or be in charge of a particular thing and if i'm not forgetting to embryology good you can work in an ivf center but the reality about ivf center is that it's very difficult for you to be accepted to work in an ivf clinic because i myself i applied for like six 
IVF clinics are yeah I think six or six or eight I wasn't taking for anyone and what I came to understand is they want somebody that is familiar with culturing embryo because nobody wants to risk somebody's embryo for an apprentice so you need to acquire these skills if you want to go to the hospital i think there are some centers that are training embryologists you have to pay some certain amount for you to learn this skill so when you finish learning it you can actually go to the hospital work in the embryology unit so aside embryology unit i've talked about histopathology um radiology unit you work as a laboratory assistant and the way for you to get in there in summary is either you going through the nyc routes or you go and get the skills and come in so the next point you can use your bsc anatomy degree to teach and lecture anatomy but i'm going to come from a different perspective and for those of you that have been watching my channel you notice that i've been teaching anatomy on this channel so this is what i'm using my bsc knowledge of anatomy to do i educate people on this channel two you can teach and lecture in the university but it is a two-way thing if you graduated with a first class in anatomy, you can actually get a GA, that's a graduate assistant position. That's the lowest level in the academic staff profile, or you can work as a laboratory technologist in the non-academic profile. Then you can also use your um, BSc anatomy degree to teach and lecture anatomy by maybe thinking of creating application, like application in anatomy, just like you have teach me anatomy. You can become creative when you master your coding or programming thing you get you can use it um, to create applications where people will appreciate and you earn cool money so that's the third thing now the fourth thing i would be sharing is to research for me um, i was i was fortunate to learn how to do statistical analysis you get so there are some universities where students want who to run their statistical analysis for them. Do you get? So what you can do is you can actually be doing people's statistical analysis and earn your cool money with your BSc anatomy degree. Do you get? And if you are very good with coding and other things, like I said, you can use it to create applications. So I don't deviate. Moving back to the research, you can use your BSc anatomy degree to do research. You can personally conduct your research. Maybe during your NYC, you can actually take um, that questionnaire among people around you do research publish papers and how this is helpful is you'll be able to gain collaboration from people I know there's this work I did on virtual anatomy that's virtual learning environment with anatomy I've already gotten a call from somebody outside Nigeria like please can we collaborate on something do you understand so when I mean outside Nigeria I don't mean me going there <laughs> The first thing is like it's going to be a virtual work you get so you can actually invest in research with your bsc anatomy degree and also while i was able to gain the experience of research was i did my internship as a research intern in Antonio research center do you understand like but this thing is with your bsc anatomy degree you might not really reach the view where a professor might see research as because um, i was able to anchor this radio section if you not watch that video i'm going to link that video up there for you i was able to anchor this radio section where um dr memudu made it clear that we should try to do research that we are creating a new idea like I think Professor Ayan also said this to me when I met him in Funai. He was like, we should be past the level of where you just add to knowledge as a researcher. You should be in the era of you creating a new thing, like bringing innovation to the table. So, but with your BSc Anatomy degree, because I'm also trying to be very realistic, with your BSc Anatomy degree, you might not be reaching that level first. You might just be reaching the level of okay just adding ideas for now but when you get into your mrc level phd level you should be thinking in a different way do you get moving on i will say the 15. the 15 is related to what i said in the fourth instance but the fifth one is more like an advice you can maximize your linkedin account to get job opportunities and what kind of job opportunity are we talking about there are some of my friends that we graduated from the same university bsc anatomy they are actually um, content creators they, they write they do this freelancing writing for people they pay them in usd they got this contact from linkedin do you get what? still this point you need to have knowledge on how to write that will tell us if you did your bsc tests yourself <laughs> And another thing what you will benefit from LinkedIn is LinkedIn will also from what from this person's success story if this person was able to get a job in this particular place as a content creator it will give you an idea of the name where the name of the company where you can also apply 
do you get like if you see this person sharing the certificate that he earned the certificate from so so and so um company or something you can go and google that company or google and you can also receive your own certificate you get because that's the way one of my friend love it i know she's watching this video too i i worked in career village actually i'm still working in career village is a voluntary platform i'm not paid where you um help people answer their questions on health education um any aspect i'm going to drop their link on the description box so when i was when i posted my success on career village love it saw it and that was what gave her the idea to go and search about this career village so linkedin apart from motivating you it gives you a hint of where you can also um, go and utilize or where you can also work do you get and before i continue you should know that there's no discipline that is easy there's no discipline that when you finish school you are expected to get a job go 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 even these medical doctors it's not getting difficult for them because they've created more private universities they've created more public schools that are offering medicine and they keep graduating people day by day do you get it so please you need to um, have this mindset that it's attainable so then the one that you you know already which i didn't mention because i know you know that you can also work in an embalming center with your anatomy degree like fixing um cadavers do you get because that is a part of anatomy professor Wopra re-educated me telling me it's a dead care science in anatomy so not much science do you understand so the final thing that i want to tell you is this is actually going to be funny you can use your bsc anatomy degree certificate <laughs> going to politics or business i uh, you know like i said i'll always be frank here you get some people just get the degree because they want to get into business or just want to have a degree why some people get the degree because they want to go into politics but you agree with me um any of them can work do you understand so before i cut this video here i want to leave you with this word of encouragement anatomy is not easy no course is easy even with the whole knowledge and how difficult the course is the labor market is not favorable if you think so mm -hmm. yeah. so what you need to do is gain skill get skill when you have the skill when you are here people will want to refer you to other places do you understand I believe at the end of this video, you'll be able to sit back, rethink, 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 rethink <laughs> of what you would do with your BSc anatomy degree. And God will help us. It will be my joy if we have so many anatomies that are doing well so that we can groom more of the anatomy. So if you're studying anatomy, you're not studying it for nothing. Even if you study the high collar job or you study the radiography, you study everything, there's still no guarantee that you will get a job. If you allow me, will I say connection or your hard work? <laughs> Do you understand? So please, I'll cut this video here. Make sure you've liked this video. Make sure you share this video. Please, that's how you help your girl grow this channel. You see, I've been talking for is it almost 15 minutes. Uh -uh, cheer me up now. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.